Welcome back, everyone. The world heritage is a simple idea, but a revolutionary one at the same time, that the world hosts cultural and natural heritage of universal value to the humanity, and uh, humanity must protect together as its invisible legacy. Saving the temples of Egypt and dismantling stone <laughs> by stone, the Abu Simbel Temple in the early 1960s was the first act to recognize this idea. In March 1960, uh, that's 57 years uh, from today, UNESCO launched an international safeguarding campaign to save monuments in Nubia from being flooded by the waters of Lake Nasser. At that time, many people thought that they had to choose between culture and development, between flourishing crops uh, at the traces of glorious history. UNESCO has shown that we can actually have both. Uh, back in 1965, ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Russell E. Train co-spearheaded a drive for an international convention to uh, protect um, a cultural and natural heritage, which would become the UNESCO World Heritage Convention. He understood the importance of heritage as a bulwark uh, against extremism, as a force to strengthen what he called a sense of kinship with one another as part of a single global community, as he termed. UNESCO recognizes cultural and natural sites of outstanding universal value and protects them uh, for the benefit of humanity. As the basis for dialogue and mutual understanding, safeguarding our common heritage is a shared responsibility that requires cooperation between all state parties, along with, of course, the civil society, the local communities, and, uh, most importantly, the private sector. In order to shed light more on this topic, we are very much honored to have with us Mr. Yasser Faru uh, Hussein. He is an archaeologist at the, the uh, Office of the Minister of Antiquities. Good evening to you, sir. Good evening. Now, um, March 1960, UNESCO launched the project, but that was not the first stage of uh, the tale. Would you please remind us how things happened back at that time? Uh, at first, I'd like to say thank you very much for uh, this introduction and for invitation to come to talk about uh, uh, the one of the most important world heritage site, uh, uh, Abu Simbel Temples, mm. and uh, one of the most important archaeological sites in Egypt also. Uh, if, we talk, if we talk about the, uh, the process of the project of uh, the risk of uh, Nubian monuments, mm. Abu Simbel uh, Temple, uh, we must back to the, uh, the date of uh, Aswan Dam uh, when the govern, uh, Egyptian government uh, uh, wanted to s establish this uh, dam. Uh, and then uh, the Egyptian government did also uh, started to build the high dam. So the, uh, the, the director of antiquities and the uh, the director of antiquities and the minister of uh, culture uh, decided to went to uh, UNESCO at March uh, at uh, in, in December 1958 uh, to make something like a global campaign to uh, save the antiquities or the monuments of uh, Noba mm. because Egypt and Sudan uh, wasn't have the ability to to do this project because it's a uh, uh, it's Egypt, a huge project, a huge bro project mm -hmm. and uh, Egypt and uh, Sudan don't have the financial uh, human uh, or uh, funds to or technical to do uh, mm -hmm. this project. Mm -hmm. So UNESCO uh, responded the, uh, this request and also uh, launched a, a global campaign to save the Nubian uh, monuments mm -hmm. and uh, there were uh, 50 uh, countries participate in this campaign. Mm. Uh, I believe this was the beginning of highlighting the role of UNESCO. This is how yes, the importance yes. of UNESCO as an international organization uh, came under the limelight. Mm. Yeah, because uh, before that uh, project, uh, the heritage was local, local yes. heritage, Egyptian heritage, Protected Italian, something governments. like that. Mm. But after this project, uh, the UNESCO uh, or the, the people on, uh, in all over the world, uh, world say the heritage as a world heritage. Yes, because it's for humanity. It does not belong yeah, to Yeah, because country. 50 countries help and participate in this project uh, and collect fund uh, uh, mm. 24 uh, Egyptian million mm. at this 
تايم سو افتر فينيش ذا بروجكت ذا بيبول اوفر ذا وورلد وورلد ثوت ذات ابو سيمبل نوت ايجيبشيان هيريتاج بات وورلد هيريتاج سو اتس ذا ستارت بوينت اوف وورلد هيريتاج كونفنشن ويتش روت ان 1972 فيري ويل سير بيكوز ذا تمبلز وير كارفد in poor stained stone, uh, the yeah. Abu Simbel uh, temples, neither submerging into water, that was the initial idea, to submerge it in the water, nor could explosive be used to any greater degree, because that would endanger yeah. uh, the structure mm -hmm. of the temple. How did the group of international engineers associated with the project deal with the vastness of the project? That was a very huge project and sensitive at the yeah. same time to maintain uh, the original uh, status of the temple yeah uh, uh, after collecting the fund and uh, unesco decided to have the uh, best technical way to uh, save this um, or to trans to to move these temples from uh, its site to another site uh, we have the three proposals uh, french proposal is to use uh, to build a barrier to separate the temples uh, between uh, the temples and the lake mm. that's something like uh, great walls between the lake and the temples but it's not good uh, also we have uh, we had uh, a pro italian proposal uh, but the third one was uh, egyptian proposal by ahmed osman uh, egyptian sculpture and he was the head of the uh, faculty of art at alexandria uh, and he lived he was living in front of the temple he was from so aswan he knew it. yeah <laughs> he, knew it very well. he he said um, Uh, usually in the morning, every day, I say, good morning, Ramses II. Uh -huh. So uh, he has the best proposal. Uh, his proposal is to document every, everything in the, in the temple. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second part is to cut the, uh, the, the stones of uh, the temple uh, and give it numbers. Uh, and then uh, move But it. But it was proposed that it would be cut horizontally. Horizontally, yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, and then uh, uh, build a concrete doom. Uh, it's mm. uh, now it's the largest doom in, all over the world. Uh, the X is uh, diameter is uh, 60. And the first artificial one, I uh, yeah. because it was aimed to protect the yeah. temple at the same time. So after cut uh, the the stones of the temple, the, he reconstruct it. Uh, on a high level uh, oh. to, because the water level was near to the, 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 the gate of the temple, two mm. meters between the water and the temple. Mm. But after uh, they moved it, it will be, it was be uh, 120 meters and then covered it by the, this largest doom. Uh, doom. Uh, and uh, the last uh, stage is, uh, was uh, covered this doom by uh, the sand to give you uh, The, the same panorama the or original, the same yeah, original, original panoramic view, panoramic, uh, view. Mm. and then the opening uh, of uh, the temple uh, at 1968 mm. uh, by the president uh, Gamal Abdel Nasser. Okay, uh, work with relocating the Abu Simbel uh, temples was concluded September the 22nd back 1968 uh, with a large uh, inaugural ceremony and the entire project cost about 200 million uh, Swedish corona. Um, that was a lot. That was uh, yeah, yeah, a, a yeah, very, very huge amount at of this uh, time. funds. About um, 1.7 billion Swedish corona, according to today's, today's monetary value. The Abu Simbel temples were also placed on UNESCO's World Heritage List back in 1979. Uh, what about other sites in Egypt on the UNESCO's World Heritage List? As I said uh, before, uh, This project it was a, the start point of uh, world heritage definition in the world. Mm. The UNESCO, after this project, decided to, wrote, uh, to write uh, a, a convention uh, protect the world, the world cultural and natural heritage. Uh, and uh, UNESCO uh, did it at 1972. Uh, 72. Mm. Uh, Egypt ratifies the convention in uh, 1974. Uh, and we started to uh, record or uh, inscribe, as UNESCO said, uh, sites on World Heritage List uh, 1979. We have now seven uh, World Heritage Sites in Egypt. In Egypt. Uh, yes. tell, us, tell us about yeah, that. Six. I believe Fayoum is also included. The, uh, uh, yeah, Wadi Hitan in Fayoum. Yeah, uh, mm. we have six cultural uh, sites. Uh, 
mm. and one natural. Mm. Uh, the six, uh, six cultural sites it was um, is uh, Ar Abumina mm. uh, in uh, Alexandria, Alexandria. Mm. Uh, historic Cairo in uh, here here in uh, Cairo, and uh, Memphis and its necropolis from uh, Dahshur to Giza pyramids, uh, Saint Catherine, uh, and uh, Nubian monuments and Tiba Tiba necropolis. Tiba, this, this, is, the this is Luxor. Yeah, Luxor, mm -hmm. uh, Luxor, and the Nubian monuments. Uh, there, uh, Saint Catherine, uh, Sinai, Sinai, Sinai. Uh, history Cairo, history Cairo, Memphis, and its necropolis. And uh, the last one is Abu Mina. This is the cultural sites on World Heritage List. We have only one natural site is uh, Wadi Haitan in the Fayoum. Mm. Okay. okay. Um, uh, sir, the the fifty seven years from uh, the once the first preservation project to protect world heritage. Where do we stand today, especially with almost every day new archaeological and antiquities uh, mm -hmm. discovered? So tell us more. I mean, recently we have just discovered the statue, the huge statue of the Smatic in Mataria yeah. area. So uh, tell us more about uh, the Smatic. Uh, every day you have about about what? About this. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, every day in the Ministry of Antiquities, you have discoveries, you have uh, projects uh, by the ministry and the government, Egyptian government, mm -hmm. and also by the uh, foreigner missions uh, which work in this uh, field, archaeological uh, uh, field. Uh, so we have, uh, at this, uh, today you have programs to make uh, something like site management on the World Heritage Site. Uh, and uh, also opening the museum for uh, visitors. Uh, we opened the Islamic art uh, museum uh, mm -hmm. two months ago and also the NIMIC and now working in the uh, gym, Grand Egyptian uh, Museum. Okay. You work at the office of uh, the Minister of Antiquities. Yeah. So do you in the office coordinate with other uh, agencies, whether local or international? I mean, do you uh, um, um, uh, coordinate uh, your work with the Ministry of Tourism, uh, with the media, yeah. with, the, with the government uh, bodies, with the civil society, as I mentioned earlier? Do you do that? Yeah, yeah, hmm. yeah. We have department, uh, departments in uh, the minister office. I am in the Department of International Organizations. So we coordinate and we cooperate with the international organizations and also with local organizations uh, 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 which care about the heritage and antiquities uh, to, to, preserve and to, to preserve our antiquities and our heritage for future generation and save it. Okay. Finally, sir, my final question yeah. to you. In your opinion, what other sites really need uh, immediate intervention and preservation? Here in Egypt. Yeah, um, I think Memphis and its necropolis because mm. it's uh, it, it one of the most important world heritage site. Mm. So we don't have site management plan on it. So mm. I think it's uh, the most the most it's the, the the place which we have to focus. Focus. More on. Uh, yeah, okay. Memphis. Uh, Mr. Yasser Farouk Hassin, archaeologist uh, at uh, the Office of the Minister of Antiquities. Thank you very much, sir, for thank being with us in Cairo Local Time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us in this edition of Cairo Local Time. We truly hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Helen Hamilawi, signing off for now. Explore Egypt. From Cairo to Alexandria. Sharm el-Sheikh to Hurghada. 